Now what we can do is if we see if we hover our mouse over the table here, we can click on table, it'll select the entire table. At the same time in the body on the left hand side, you'll see here is the table as well. If I click so now in order to format this, you can click for example this button here which selects the entire row. I can change it to bold, I can change the background color if I want, etc. If, for example, I want a border around here, I click this top left corner, which means it selects the entire table. On the left hand side of the properties here, I can see border, I can choose the thickness of the line, I can choose the color, and I can choose the boundaries, which I'm going to select as all. So this grade to me is a little bit harsh, so I'm going to change it back to maybe silver. And I'm just going to make sure that everything's centralized. Maybe also change the font. I don't touch these because this is dynamic and this will be filled in automatically. If you want to change the style of the font, go for it. If you want to center it, go for it up to you. So if I save my report and I just run run it just to see the what it looks like. So there's my there's my header, the author or the user. Here's my page number. Here's the logo, here's the title, there's the filters and here's my table. As you can see these values are very large and a not very nice to look at so let's change that so it's this one what we do is at the bottom on the left hand side it says format number currently it's unformatted so you change it to fixed and you say two decimal places you can decide whether to run up or down I'm just going to do it for both of them to run half up click save if I run the report now will be a lot more friendly on the eyes. So that's adding a table. If for example I want to add a map, here is the map option here. Click and drag it into my, my report. I can resize it freehand or I can click on it and change and the general size, the width and the height based off of centimeters, inches, millimeters, etc. Depends on how big you want your map. If you know the if you want a full page map, you can set it to a size of a full page.